It's Video Tuesday. Welcome back to Great Photography and Video on a Budget. I'm George E. Harrison, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do a mic test. We're going to test the on camera mic and see how it picks up sound. Then we're going to use the Rose mic, video mic to go, and see how it does. Some people say this is the greatest thing since chocolate, and other people say it's the worst thing since anthrax. So, we're going to put it to the test. I'm going to let you decide what scene sounds better. I'm going to shoot the exact same scenes with the on-camera mic and with this mic, and we'll compare and see which one sounds the best. Okay, now we're testing the road mic. And the purpose of this test is to see if it's as good as some people say it is, or as bad as some people say it is, or if there's a happy medium. This is now the road mic we're testing, and now let's go to a different location. Okay, we're now standing by Highway 220. We're going to see how the on-camera mic, this is the on-camera mic, we're going to see how well the on-camera mic picks up my sound over the traffic noise. Can you hear me distinctly, or is the ambient noise from the traffic just as high? Okay, this is the road mic, this is the road mic. Again, I'm still standing by Highway 220, and this is the road mic. How does it compare to the on-camera mic? How does the sound of traffic? Is my voice clear? Is it better using the road mic for separating my voice from the background traffic? Well, I'm going to let you decide. Now I'm sitting on my front porch. I live in a really quiet neighborhood, and this is the camera mic. Again, this is the camera mic. Only thing that's going on around me are a few birds are chir uh, chirping, and there's a few uh, traffic sounds from a street or two over. But again, this is the camera mic. How does this sound sitting in, on my front porch in a quiet neighborhood? I have a move, same porch same neighborhood this is the road mic you still have a few birds chip ch chirping a little traffic noise a street or two over but how's the road mic compare sitting on my front porch with separating my voice from the background as compared to on camera mic and i'm now walking in some gravel by the railroad track repeat i said by the railroad track but i live between two intersections so i will hear the train long before it gets to me i'm not totally crazy so how's the on camera mic sound when I'm walking on the railroad track in gravel. Do you hear my voice clearly or do you hear my voice in the gravel at the same level? I'm still walking by the railroad track in the gravel. What do you hear? Do you hear my voice clearly or do you hear the gravel just as loud as my voice? Again, this is now the road mic walking in gravel by the railroad track. Which one is better, the on-camera mic or the road mic? You decide. This is the on-camera mic, on-camera mic probably seven feet in front of the lawnmower, but you never know when you might interview someone sitting in front of the lawnmower. Why? I don't know, but you never know when it might happen. Again, this is the on camera mic. Can you hear me over the lawnmower, or can you hear both of us at the same level? Same location, same lawnmower. This is the road mic, R-O-D-E, road mic, video mic go. Can you hear me over the lawnmower? Is it better than the on camera mic? Or do you hear myself and the lawnmower at the same level? Which one's better, the road mic or the home camera mic? Uh, both of them are total fail when you're interviewing someone in front of a lawnmower. Well, I hope you got something out of this totally unscientific road mic, camera mic comparison. And as always, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey. And as always, if you're watching this on YouTube, go down to the right-hand corner, hit the subscribe button, and also hit the notification button so you can get all my videos on Tuesday and Friday. And of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't be afraid to leave a comment, good, bad, or indifferent, because remember, the only way we, we can grow as photographers feedback from everyone because like I said before no one knows everything about photography so everyone has a different gift they can bring so let's share those gifts and also if you look for someone you want to collaborate with you know early late night or early morning shooting and when I say early morning to me that's like two or three in the morning you want to go out with I watch your back you watch mine or we we'll just bounce ideas off each other I'm available leave me a comment on Facebook or YouTube and if all goes well I will see you Friday <laughs>